like it for the professor. Is anyone here? Hello? General Russo sent me. Some eye chips. How many? What? How many chips do you have? Three. Huh? Don't it! If those things are still alive, please tell me they're deactivated. What are you talking about? The freaking chips, fool! If they're still alive, they'll leave them here. Doing. Just because the lights are out doesn't mean they're deactivated. What, do they have an after-death battery life? Sure, something like that. They can be used by control for, for listening devices and, and range finders and locators and... Listening? You're telling me these things can hear now? Are you serious? They've been able to do that for two years. Where have you been? Around. <sighs> So, where were the chips located? They're in the neck. But where in the neck? They were actually against the spinal cord itself. I've never seen that before. That actually makes sense. It's a deterrent, so even the best of surgeons can't remove them. They, they practically kill the person to take it out. This means that... Ah! Good to see you, too. What are you doing here, Ferrum? The front door was open. I figured someone had come in and killed you. Like you would even care! Oh, okay. The smell from your rotting corpse would make it hard for me to sleep. Screw you! And the liquor would taste funny. Ferrum! Can you not see that I'm busy with someone, you idiot? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Hunter, right? That's right. We met the other night. The other night? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that other night. <laughs> that was you. Uh, sorry, I forgot you were there. I just like messing around with Rook. <laughs> that guy's a douchebag. You're the douchebag, Ferrum. If you weren't such a drunk, you could remember people. Well, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. You'll be drunk too then. What good is that gonna do you? Well, it helps me to make decisions. Useless decisions? Alright. I'm sorry. Did you want one? Oh man. Are you sure? It's, it's free land moonshine. I mean, <sighs> tastes like freedom. Did you just think of that? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I actually did. Did you like it? No. Who asked you anyway? Geek. You know, Hunter, all I really know about you is your name. Man, no one else seems to know anything else about you. Good. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But it appears you are a chip collector, though. Yeah, I guess so. It's 
stupid. I try to avoid fighting when I can. Yeah, I noticed. So I noticed a pretty good sized scar there on your neck, and judging from the size and location, I'd say you were a defector during iTrip 2.1 installation. Pretty good. Yeah, lucky guess. Or if your brain wasn't constantly smothered in alcohol and you were consistently inebriated, you may realize things. <laughs> Shut up. You know, when everybody else was getting eye chipped, I knew better than to have that apocalyptic devil stick shoved up my ass. I mean, wait, even when the first one came out, the only one in the forearm, I, that it was the cool thing to do. Oh, no more need for identification papers, credit cards, passcodes, or keys. Just get one of these shoved in your arm and you live, you live your life carefree. Uh, I knew it was trouble as soon as I saw it. What he means is, he was too poor to afford it. <laughs> well, yeah, there was that too, but... <clears throat> I mean, I still wouldn't have done it, even if I had the chance. Well, I'm heading out. Hey, uh, there was one more thing. General Russo asked me to come pick up a uh, prototype chip uh, activator thing. Russo? What does he want it for? What, why does he want it? Uh, he didn't say. He just said to come pick it up. Is that going to be some sort of a problem? Well, I haven't gone through the beta testing, and... It, it's just not ready yet. I, I don't think it, it's not ready yet. So, uh, if you've been out since version 2.1, um, what have you been doing all these years? Just surviving. But yeah, well, I mean, were you with a resistance group, or, I mean, have you been by yourself this whole time? I mean, because you don't, you seem a little. Well trained to be a Fuji. Nothing much worth talking about. <clears throat> and I don't like being interrogated. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm at nothing by it. I, I was just... Okay, curious. if you have to take it, at least don't drop it. All right.
lost him. You see him anywhere?
Wolf problems? Not anymore. You don't look like much of a meal anyway. I'm kind of hungry. Got anything to eat around here? So, Ferrum, how did you, uh. Ferrum. Ferrum. Oh, yeah. I was just wondering. How did you come to meet the professor? Well, you know, I bring him chips, he gives me booze. I guess I could have figured as much. Yeah, probably. That's like the third time you've cleaned that thing. I like to be thorough and prepared. You can clean it once thoroughly. I mean, this is just paranoid and boring. Do you see me complaining about your habits? Yeah, that's a habit because you were trained as a government soldier once, weren't you? You probably defected around phase two of the martial law. You're better trained than every other rebel soldier out here. And yet you don't fight with them. That's curious. You must have some dark past chasing you, man. For you to seem this haunted. You know, for someone who seems really wasted all the time, you sober up really fast. You're not drowning your cares away in that bottle. You're hiding behind it. What are your secrets? What are you hiding from? Touche, sir. I guess we already know enough about each other. You know, you talked a big talk with that thing back there the other night. 
I was wondering if you're actually gonna try to use it. Back with Rook. Yeah. <laughs> Thought about it. <laughs> what? You don't think I could do it? No. I might just be crazy enough. Or stupid enough. And maybe drunk enough. It's the same thing. Hunter, I propose a toast. To you and your clean gun. May you overcome the demons that are chasing you. And send them back into the hell from whence they came. I will not fight with you. Ah! No, what are you, what are you doing? Merit! He's not gonna be any use to us now as a cripple. Just leave him quiet! <laughs> Nothing pisses me off more than bastards who take advantage of other people's hard work. All right. If you want freedom, if you want to fight, you're gonna to have to become a true rebel. All right. You're not even true rebels. You're murderers and thieves. I won't join you to rape and kill other villagers. You're cowards. You don't even fight the government. This is not what the rebellion's about, and Phoenix would have never allowed it, and I won't be a part of it. So you can go to hell. I think we're wasting time. He's right, you know. This is not what we started out to do. This wasn't part of the plan. I'm done here. <laughs> done? You don't keep track of current events, do you? Did you see what happened to that guy? Look, it's just gone too far. Bullshit. Bullshit! Okay, then I guess I'm done. Hunter! You're Hunter, right? I'm looking for Russo. I have something for him. Okay, come inside. Sir, Hunter's here. Good. Hunter, we've been expecting you. I 
said I wanted to see General Russo. Where is he? Guards, be dismissed. We'll meet you out back. I'm afraid Russo isn't here right now. He was sent out to check on the outpost and to gather intel for the government troops that are nearby. You're more than welcome to speak to me. I don't even know who you are or why you're in Russo's chair. Well, I'm Lieutenant Crow. My men and I are here to prepare the camp for an assault because the government troops are closing in. Now, if that satisfies your need. Well, I had a deal with Russo. I uh, completed a mission for him. So you have the chip activated. How did you know about that? The general was the one that wanted it, and he asked Russo to get it for him. He isn't very thrilled that Russo sent one non-combatant to retrieve it either, so I hope you have it. I've got it. Russo promised me the rest of my supplies for it as well. Fair enough. Follow me. Who is that? A plague. Ah. He's barely breathing, sir. Should I stop? Sir. Ah. Isn't that a little harsh? Not for these Fugees. The general wants to make a prime example of what happens when someone steals the chip. Crow. Who is that? Sorry to interrupt you, sir. But it's Hunter. He has just arrived. The one Russo sent? Yes, sir. Hunter, my commander. General Merritt. So, Mr. Hunter. You don't approve of my methods? It's time to institute a zero tolerance policy. We've got way too many untrustworthy people moving in and out of the camps. Martin allowed free access to his camp. Stray food, she's moving everywhere. Uh, I'll not stand for it. I, uh, <clears throat> brought you the iChip activator. Uh, thank you for that. Russo still has a few things to learn about procedure and protocol. He just didn't understand how important the activator was. Well, I, uh, I, I hope it helps, sir. Oh, wait a second. You still need those supplies, right? That was part of the deal with you and Russo. Yes, it, uh, it was. Okay, I'll get this order written up right away. Sorry about this, Hunter. Had to make sure you least affected. Not a spy. We appreciate your help, and I'll use this all in one day. see you again. What, you know this scum? Oh, we go way back. We formed one of Phoenix's early guerrilla units. Seems like a different life now. And then one day he decided to betray me and take my arm with him. Isn't that right? What we were doing was insane. It was murder. Don't you lecture me on murder. You were right there with me. We're just lucky he didn't join up with Ferrum. A spy is bad enough without a traitor. Ferrum? He's just a drunk. Besides, he knows the professor. Ferrum is a spy! And he's dangerous! He's not a drunk. He's a bigger threat than he appears. But don't worry, we'll have him killed and capture the professor. Ferrum's campsite's right behind me. What's he doing? He's just sitting there. 
Farron was there when I picked up the activator. He didn't really seem to mind. Besides, I uh, ran into Farron a couple of days ago on the way here. Crow, check for the activator. Looking for me? Where is it? Where's the activator? Where are you guys headed so violently? Get the professor to kill you. The next time, you should do a better job. This isn't happening. I had it. I had it in my hand. It's so close. You had to, you had to come and take something else from me. Too bad you wasted all your ammo on a corpse. No, I'm not done with you yet. You're gonna live for now, but only so you could wish you were dead. Professor, looks like it's time for you to go.